Namaste YouTube, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another topic. Uh, we want to talk about a Python module or Python tool called PyAuto GUI. It will help us to automate uh, the GUI. Let's say there are some tasks for which you want to automate stuff and for that you don't have command line options or there are no SDKs to connect to APIs to talk to. Um, then uh, there, is, there are uh, other tools uh, as well, but PyAuto GUI is one of the you know, uh, most used. So we, what we will do now uh, today is we will right click here, go to new, file, create a text file, uh, give it a name, and that's it. That is all we are going to do. You can also do a lot of other things like open a browser, enter, uh, a particular URL and go to the website, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Your imagination is uh, the limit. You can also check out uh, check out the PyArtoGui uh, official documentation. So let's uh, go ahead and now and uh, start our little tutorial here. That is, first is we want to import uh, Py. Gui here. Well, before we do that, uh, we should go ahead and know and do this tip. Well, I think I got to close this. Uh, now, tip. Hmm. I'm not getting a console. All right. So. Now let's. If you already don't have the PyArtoGui installed, just run this command pip uh, r pip3 install if it's python3 because we are dealing with python3 right now PyArtoGui can do that and that will go ahead and you know install it let's uh, first import that package, I have already installed it you know how to um, install packages or manage packages already in my previous uh, video I have already talked about it so let's go ahead and find the position of the mouse where we want to click uh, for that we will do a equals okay let me maximize it a equals I oops what did I do I auto GUI dot position Right, and, and I will say, I want to print position, right, A, yep, so let's do this, so this is the position, X axis and Y axis of my monitor, so as per that, this is the position, so what I want to do here is, I want to find out the position here, X and Y axis, so I place my mouse here, It says 74, 124. Great. So what we want to do here is I Aragui dot right click and the position what I want to put is 74, 124. Right. So let's go ahead and run this again. So the right click is working. Then what we want to do here is we want our mouse to be here. Again, so that has to be a left click. So what I will do here is I place a right click and I place my mouse here. Hit the escape key so that the background all goes and then run the command. Uh, I mean, you should do this with the shortcut. I have customized my PyCharm to run uh, the code with the control uh, comma. You can, I think by default it's control shift F12 or F10, I don't remember. So I execute it and it gives me 217139. That is what I want to do. Pi aragui dot click 217139. That is what I have. And let's say run this again. Okay, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. Let's place our mouse here. Now, 
we when we click here and if we try to do another click here let's f first find out the position shell we'll talk about it so this that is a mouse position i will run the code again so it's printing uh, the position of the mouse so what i want to do here is i will paste this here and 471 comma 138 What happened so it just vanished that is because ideally when we right click we want to move the mouse here not lift the mouse and click so every time when you're saying click right click and going to the next line it does the clicking and that vanishes or moves away and then goes to the next point we don't want to jump from this point to this point but we want to hover over from here to here we want to move to this location so what we will do here is move to right now let's run this all right so that is the right uh, position now pi aragui dot click what we wanted to do here is the same one for wherever we moved here all right let's see what happens all right, so it tries to create a text file. Uh, we will cancel again. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to type the name, uh, pyrogui dot um, type right. That is name, and this is the name of the file that I want to give. So let's run that again. Okay, so it's doing its job, but we want to hit enter. So it's very simple by dot type right same way but you we uh, will put the command what we want to run or the command what we want to enter inside the square bracket here the same thing like this but the square bracket will enclose whatever that you are typing or trying to run the command I want to run enter so let's see what happens okay so it automatically, you know, created a text file. Isn't that awesome? So this is a very simple example. You can do a lot more things with it. Keep exploring to learn more. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Bye.